Kenny Morris is relentless in his search for artists to interview. And he always prevails. With a rapid fire delivery of penetrating power questions like, What's your favorite cupcake? Uh, Kenny Morris is the Quizinator. On the phone with me now is Richard Schroeder. Good morning, Richard. Hey, Kenny, how are you? Great to talk to you. I'm doing pretty good, buddy. So, where are you calling us from today? I'm in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, uh, what a place for the to country be. Country radio seminar. So, how long have you no been problem. in Nashville? Uh, I've been in Nashville for the last few days. Uh, I try to come down a few times a year, you know, to write and and uh, and work. And I'm going to be recording this summer uh, a few more songs, which I'm excited about. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of a follow up to the Drive album. Uh, but most of my time I spend up in Boston and, and trying to uh, play and perform and write up there and, and do everything else. It's a lot of you wear a lot of hats. So. The labor of love. The girls are going to want to know, are you married or what? I'm married. I, I am happily married. I've got two lovely kids. You got any dogs? Uh, my wife is allergic, so that would not work. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, but anyway, Bill and I are both dog people. Um, boy, we have faces for that. We kind of look like our dogs. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so you got a lot of stuff going on this week with CRS, etc. Yeah, just uh, working on the radio. Proud to announce that uh, the new single, Drive-In, is number 67 on the uh, Music Row chart. So it just cracked into the chart. Um, hoping to get it higher than that, which I think you guys played on the show, I think, last week. I think it was the lead-off single, so we appreciate that. Yeah, we're kind of, uh, I think we're playing three songs of yours. Now, I may be oh, wrong. Really? Praying for You uh, comes on like in a week. We're a little bit ahead, so sometimes I get confused on the weeks. But when we do play those things, we always let your people, so to speak, know. And, of course, right. on our website, you can see where they where they are airing. But at any right. rate... Because you, you, you have a gospel show or something like that, Yes, right? I have. Uh, we have New Country Brew, and we have Southern Inspirations. Oh, great. Well, that Pray For You song was uh, has a gospel undertone. There's a wonderful singer uh, that you'll hear on it, uh, Juanetta Jackson, who's up in Boston, and, and she's a gospel singer, and she just sings way better than me <laughs> well that song will be on both shows oh great well i appreciate the support that's fantastic to hear i did not i knew i knew that you were looking at pray for you but i didn't know uh what the gist of it was well we don't let everybody know everything we don't want john to know everything right you can't tell john everything <laughs> give him a mile give him an inch i'll take a mile that's, that's, that's right <laughs> i know you're at crs and i know why you're there but are you doing any playing at all while you're in nashville not this time last time i played a couple shows when i was down here in, in the summer uh but this time i've i've got 12 meetings at what age did you decide to become a singer or whatever how, how did that happen i started playing guitar i started as a guitar player when i was 14 and i remember i was over at a friend's house and he had just got a guitar and man when he put it in my hand it was like you know those i don't know if you ever had this but there's a few times in your life when you just know something and for me when i touched the guitar i was like oh i'm i'm learning this <laughs> i just remember he taught me how to play a, a u2 song that night and i was hooked after that i went home i was like i want to get a guitar and mm-hmm. kind of nagged my folks and um started playing in high school and started doing the band thing and played in bands throughout college and after college did a lot of touring uh and then i i was in about 10 bands and put a lot of records out but i never got the uh the success i was looking for so i I settled down a little bit took some time off and started a family and then i just got the itch and got back into it now i'm into it more than ever and just really working hard at it so i broke off and i became a a solo singer songwriter just because you know the band thing can be tough in terms of having a lot of different people involved so i started just really getting into the heavy into the songwriting coming down from nashville i have a wonderful mentor a fellow by the name of Steve Seskin, who has uh, seven number one hit songs uh, with Tim McGraw and Kenny Chesney and so forth. So he's become my mentor and teaching me the craft. And we put the record out a few months ago. It's doing really well. So I'm really grateful and working on new songs. So, you know, as long as I can keep doing it, that's that's what I'm going to do. So started when I was 14, but you just keep trying to work on your craft and get better at it. But just love music. And that's why I do it. Well, he's had seven more hits than I have. You talking about <laughs> me, me, too. He's you're a, talking he's about the, the guitar thing. You knew that's what you wanted to do. I I learned yeah. the opening, just the opening few licks of Heartbreak Hotel on the guitar many years ago. And I thought, this is for me. Well, that lasted about 15 minutes. Yeah. Well, but, it's funny because I, I recorded, I was in Memphis uh, when I was younger, and I went to a little studio there, and they allow you to record mm-hmm. your voice over Heartbreak Hotel. I love that moment. I, I still have that that song. And it's, I mean, it sounds terrible, but it's fun. No, no, that's good. That's good. Um, do you remember your first paying gig? I do. I made $5. Well, <laughs> I still have the five bucks really? uh, for the first paying gig. I do. I have it in a in an album, and it's, it's hysterical. My, yeah, and I was in a band with four people. We made twenty bucks. We each got five bucks, and that was big money back then. You know, oh, yeah. <laughs> I make I make maybe twice that now. And they paid you in cash. <laughs> 
<laughs> they paid us in cash. Yeah. Wow. I was, I was too old to be in. I was too young to be in the club. Too. Well, you, you you know, you were talking about the guitar. You knew that's what you wanted to do. It's kind of like I found yeah. the love of my life three times already, <laughs> <laughs> and all three of them are glad that I left. <laughs> well, well, I can't sing, play. All right, so you have to worry about me being competition. Brother, listen, I appreciate you calling us today, and uh, yeah. we'll be looking. You keep singing, and I'll keep playing. Is that good enough? That's awesome, Kenny, and I can't thank you enough for your support and playing the songs and taking a few minutes out of your day to talk to me, and uh, I'm sure our paths will cross again. But but thank you so much. Uh, it's folks like you that play the songs that, that make it you know make it so that we can keep playing. Listen, brother, <laughs> I appreciate you more than anything you know, and I hope you have a blessed day. You too, Kenny, and I hope you feel better, and uh, we'll talk soon. But thanks you so much again. Absolutely. Goodbye, buddy.